Ladies and gentlemen, I am Kevin T. Robertson, CEO of Speaker Focus here with co-founder Austin Troyer. On behalf of the staff at Speaker Focus, we are coming to you live and direct like always on the Monday group call. And we are getting ready to take questions for people that want to grow their speaker businesses. They have questions that they want to ask about their messaging, about you know, sales tools, what kind, what do I need to do to, to connect with these conference coordinators? And you know, they, they have questions about building the speaker growth engine and how to get that thing, you know, revved up with some super octane fuel in there. They have questions about, you know, all of the uh, all of the outreach templates that sometimes that we need to have to attract these conference coordinators, you know, messaging, speaking to them in a language that they understand, making sure the business is set up the right way. This is what we do as speaker focus on a continuous basis to be able to help people, you know, have a better level of understanding the, the world of paid speaking. I can tell you this, there is an insane amount of people that I have the privilege to talk to, whether or not we're doing business with them or not. You know, at the end of, at the, end of the day, this really boils down to sales. And you're either selling or you're not. And, uh, you know, in order to sell more, I believe that you have to have the right market position and you have to know how to present what it is that you have to offer. If you don't know how to present your offer and you don't have the right market position, you your sales are going to be languishing. So this is a painstaking process to understand for a lot of people because they they do certain things at a very, very high level. And then they, they all of a sudden, you know, we, we reach a ceiling and that happens, you know, to you in business sometimes. Sometimes you you get so good at what you do you very, you're very top heavy when it comes to the skills and the, and the techniques and the, and the, because you have such an experience doing what you do and uh, you know, but you get tired of figuring stuff out on your own. And that's the reason why we're here at speaker focus. That's why we have 24 hour technical and soft skill support. That's why we do a Monday group call so we can facilitate questions. By the way, if you have any questions, use the raise hand feature and I will get right to you as I'm uh, finishing up my, uh, finishing up my opening here. And uh, we're waiting for some more people, for, for some ladies, to uh, some late people to log in. So, you know, as you're going through this process, the reason why you reach out to other people is because you need support. But you need something concrete and real that you can hang your hat on. At the end of the day, this is about empowering yourself with new information. Now, if you are not getting new information and you're not picking up you're not learning new ways to manipulate your speaker empire, then you're going to stay right where you are. Now, some of it is self-induced. If you don't get up off your ass and do something about it and you don't move the meter. See, if I'm not moving the meter, you know, <clears throat> I have that thing rattling around in my head that says I still need to get something done. And that should bother you if you know you have a to-do list, which we always have a to-do list for you. There's a checklist and a to-do list every time you turn around on the speaker focus platform. Now, all you have to do is do your part. Send it over to me in Austin. We will check the homework and send it back over. The, the more you send, the more feedback you're going to get. The more questions you ask, the more feedback you're going to get. And I'm going to tell you to your face, through Zoom, whatever it is, the real opinion about these signature programs are horrible. I need you to send this shit back over to me so I can fix it. Now, I'm going to keep helping you improve it, but let's keep going through the checklist. Going through the checklist is sacrifice. These sacrifices are, are definitely not easy to make. However, if you plan on being a major player in this business, then you got to have some grit about you. And when you've hit that ceiling of your professional understanding of marketing, let me tell you something. Making money is a skill entrepreneurism is a skill. Let's just say I'm really skilled at, at paid public speaking. And I'm really skilled at being an entrepreneur. Obviously so. I've been an entrepreneur for 35 years. 2021 is the 35th year I've been a paid speaker. I got my first paid speaking engagement when I was 18 years old. And I've been getting paid every single year since then for my talents. Now, I know a lot of you right now, you're already doing what you do at a very high level. I know you're already making income. That's the top 20 or 30% of the clients that we have on our platform. Then a lot of you, 
are still working a job. And that's okay. I'm not knocking that. We all have got to do what we got to do for our families. But if you want, if you want to take your paid speaking career to a whole nother level, then you got to do something that you've never done before. Now, the question is, <clears throat> I'm doing some things that I've never done before. I'm losing weight. I've lost 22 pounds over the last 90 days. I probably could have lost some more. Got to get refocused. And I have. So they're, they're, uh, they're, it's requiring me to drink more water than I really like to. Why don't we just all move our office in the bathroom? You know, when you're exercising and you're working out. But but water keeps your system clean. And it's a, it's a vital component to losing weight. Uh, obviously, portion control. I've never had an issue with the exercise piece. I've been running cross country since I've been 16. By the way, if you have a question, by all means, raise your hand. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Don't be shy. Come forward, ask the questions, and you will get very detailed answers. Spay, you want to grow your speaker business. If you're not sending your if you're not sending your messaging to me, you are doing yourself a disservice. If you're not getting feedback about every component about your speaker business, this is what you hired us for. I'm going to tell it to you raw, straight, no chaser, just like it is, so you can improve. This is what this is all about. Process improvement hurts. It's uncomfortable to hear somebody keep telling you what you're not doing right. But I tell you this, a real leader will keep teaching you until you get it right. And that's what we are on the speaker focus platform. See, I've been doing this way too long. I could do this in my sleep, but you have to do your part. Now, the part that's uncomfortable for me, it's not the exercise or working out part. It's always, it always boils down to the eating. I always, I always want to eat more than what is necessary. But do you realize if I want to get the maximum results, like when I start covering red carpet events and I'm interviewing, you know, Brad Pitt. You know, I'm interviewing some other Hollywood types that's on my list that, that I've never had the opportunity to interview before. You know, I want to be able to go on the red carpet and I want to, I want to look as trim as possible. And that's my goal. And I'm going to achieve it. I'm already doing it right now. So I have to do something that I've never done before, which is the last time I've actually said no to food or food is not such a big deal in my life was probably when I was in my 20s, when I was real thin. But food became my buddy, right? And then I gained an extra like, you know, 50, 60 pounds out of nowhere because in this paid public speaking arena, especially when you start becoming a high fee speaker and you're getting a $100 meal per diem every day to have you on site. If they have me at a conference, they, they, I get a $500 budget just for food for one week because I like to eat good. Now that's my, that's my drink tab too. I'm not a heavy drinker. But I like to I like to eat at nice places like hotels and high end restaurants. Well, I'll burn up. Sometimes I got to put some money in just for my dinner when I go eat some of these places. I know some of you thinking right now, you don't have to be greedy. Let me tell you something. You could go to Mr. Child's in New York. That's the kind of place I like to eat. You go to Mr. Child's in New York. I went to Mr. Child's in New York one time just for appetizers for four people was eight hundred dollars just for appetizers and drinks. Eight hundred dollars. OK, so you need to be properly taken care of when you're a professional speaker. Now, if you don't know what to ask for, then you're never going to get to the next level. So now let me see. Somebody has. Uh, let me see. Who is it? Who is this in the chat? Ah, OK, Kenneth Jones. Hey, you're very, very welcome. This is why I'm here. I'm here to be able to answer these questions. I'm here to be able to also let everyone know, you know, I don't have it all figured out either. I have to go to a coach. I have to go to the doctor. All of these accountability calls, this is what this stuff is about. All of this shit is uncomfortable. You think I like showing up at the doctor, he asks me the same questions every single week? What'd you have to drink? Did you have any alcohol? Mr. Robinson, uh, are you sticking to, uh, how many, how many uh, exchanges have you had? That's what they call it. I'm allowed 18 exchanges in one day. Sometimes I don't eat up to 18 exchanges. Sometimes I only do 13. Sometimes when you're drinking a whole lot of water, sometimes I'm not even hungry. So I start watching whatever it is that I'm eating. I lost 22 pounds. Good for me. I still got more weight to lose and I'm, and I'm headed down that path. 
you got to have a system of accountability in place if you expect to get these to-do lists and these checklists done on this platform. See, this shit just isn't going to jump into your lap. So you can forget about that. A lot of you are in a trap right now. You're in a trap and you need to smarten up. Listen, if you expect to really come out of COVID strong, see, this is what I'm feeling. Like, and I, I, I feel it every day. Not so much as a lot of people on our platform, because a lot of you do work very, very hard. And I really admire that. I work with some of the most talented people in the world. I'm very fortunate. And, but like I talk to people because I'm in sales every day and I talk to people talk themselves out of so much stuff. When it really comes down to it, they don't want to do the work. They don't want to do the work that you've invested in. But, but here's a harsh reality. You really don't understand what you're getting yourself into until you actually get in it. And then you're like, damn, this signature program template, this shit is hard. <laughs> I love it when y'all send me feedback. Let me tell you something. Out of thousands and thousands, of I've trained over 10,000 people how to be speakers over the last 20 plus years. I've trained hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands. I can't even count that high. How many people has been in, sat in my seminars and attended my workshops and been at these big events or small events? From two people in my audience, up to 20,000 people in my audience. So, and, and, and they said, some of the stuff that I was teaching them, you know, I mainly taught leadership and management throughout the 75% the of my career was in the corporate and association market. Right. But I tell you right now, not one of you, not one person has ever handed in their, their signature program template. And it's been 100% correct. I don't care if you're an author. I don't care if you're a higher level entrepreneur. I don't care if you've been in business for 30 years. I don't care if you, you sell a, you, you do a million dollars a year with a high ticket coaching program. I don't care if you're a TEDx, TEDx speaker. I don't care if you're a Super Bowl champion, a soccer mom. We got them all on our platform. And when, when, you, when you deal with me, this is warfare, ladies and gentlemen. You got to be mentally tough because you're going to turn in your signature program and I'm going to shoot holes through it like, like it was an ad for Swiss cheese. That's my job. Not one of you has ever turned in a signature program template that has been correct. And it's not supposed to be correct, not on the first go. This is a, this is a work in progress. Your signature program template is a work in progress. But this is why I have the template. My God, where would you be if we didn't have the template? You'd be all over the place with your messaging. And that's not what we need. We need your messaging to be tight. We need to create the talking points from your books that you've written. We're going to create the talking points from your ideology. We're going to create the talking points from your coaching program that you have right now. You know how many high ticket, how, how, um, high ticket coaching uh, uh, coaches that we have on a, I mean, coaches that sell high ticket program. That's what I meant to say. How many of those, I can't even count how many of those we have on our platform. Every last one of them say the same exact thing. Damn, KTR, I'm glad I signed up for this, man. I didn't know. You don't know nothing about this speaking game. I don't know. Maybe you want to stack your 35 years up against mine. But this is what I'm here for. I'm here to help you. This isn't some bullshit line for marketing. You see when you get in it, damn, I need his help. And then the next, the next time you say, whoo, I'm glad I'm glad I'm passing. I know what some of you are thinking, oh, I'm finished with my signature programs. I'm so glad I'm not at module number one anymore. Well, good for you. Well, guess what? I'm still on your ass too. Well, where are, have you gotten into your sales tools yet? Have you done the upgrades to your website? Oh, you don't think these kind of questions are going to continuously be asked to you at all times? I don't know. Have you, uh, have you, uh, you know how many speaker video demos I'm waiting for right now? Yeah, I'm just talking about not even the final version. I'm just talking about the test run through of the speaker video demo. I don't know how long you're going to have me waiting for the rest of 2021. Oh, there we go, Alex. Okay. Uh, Alex, I think Alex is on. Alex, correct me if I'm wrong. I think Alex is. Alex just sent me an email today. Alex is on Woody and Trevor's team. I think. I love it when I love it when they let the whole team access the platform. 
because this is all about growing. Hey, Alex and Woody, we're going to hold Trevor. Yeah, working with Woody and Trevor. That's what I thought. Alex, you got my email today, boss. Great to have you on the platform. Woody and Alex and me, we're going to be holding Trevor accountable. Make sure the very first thing he does is go to the, I know you just started, but make sure he goes to the very, very end of module number one, download the signature program template done easy. I'm sorry, the easy way is what it's called. Signature program template, the easy way. Tell him to download that because he has written, he's written, Trevor's written what, over 58 books? He has the message in there. Remember, we need to develop these leadership topics and give him another offering in the marketplace for the corporate and association market. So get him to go jump into module number one and download. He said he's downloaded this, the, the signature program template. Trevor, that's what I'm talking about, my man. Now go over the first part of module number one and then stop the video and start working on those signature program templates. Okay. I uh, Austin, uh, come on, come on to the session with me real quick, boss. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's going on? Hey, listen, champ. Sean Crane just uh, Sean Crane and Octavia Burnett. They just text me and they're having trouble getting into the meeting. Can you send them links, Octavia Burnett and Sean Crane, so they can get into the meeting? Okay. Do you see them in the waiting room? I don't see them in the waiting room, but they just text me. So they're, and they're new students. They just started the program. Octavia literally just started today. Okay, cool. I'll send them the link. I appreciate it, boss. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So uh, Trevor said he downloaded it. I'm on it. Cheers, mate. Yep. Listen, it's always a pleasure to work with, um, it's always a pleasure to work with higher level entrepreneurs. It's always a pleasure to work with seasoned veterans in their industry. See, they know how to do their craft very, very well. But remember, there's no shame at going to the bottom of the hill and asking for help. This is the reason why we have the Monday group call. All right, we have the Monday group call because if you got any questions, and by, by all, okay, Kenneth Jones has a question. The room is opening up a little bit. Allow Kenneth to talk. Kenneth, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Ask to unmute. Kenneth, did you unmute? I asked him to unmute. Ken, if you still there? Yes, yeah, sorry about that. I put it there in the- There he is, there he is. I put the question in the chat because I had noise in the background. Uh, no, it's all good. Uh, did I miss that? I apologize. I wrote it after you addressed the first uh, one. Here it is, here it is right here. All right, cool. Okay, how do you press yourself out of your comfort zone to do what you need to do? How to fight procrastination and intimidation? Okay, great question, wow. Kenneth, you're gonna you're gonna stay with me, right? I'm just gonna talk talk this with through you live. Let's can we break it down in like four parts, maybe? Sure. Okay. All right. Let's start with the first part. How do you press yourself out of your comfort zone? Okay, to do what you need to do. Let's take that one first. Okay, um, Kenneth, I'm gonna let you know that you're not in this by yourself when it comes. To, and a lot of times we think we are, especially with men. You know, Kenneth, we're, we're always like um, when a little girl falls on the ground. They say, oh, let me come here. Let me kiss the boo-boo. And then they spray it. They clean it up. They put a Band-Aid on it, right? When a little boy falls on the ground, <laughs> they're like, boy, shut them tears up. <laughs> right. You got you to gotta figure it out the best way on your own. Now, as grown men, we don't really check on each other. Right. We don't really see how we're doing. And this is why you got to have a support system. Now, you're always going to get that as speaker focus, Kenneth, as you know. You, you are, you're, no, you're not a newbie on our platform. You understand how this works. But these are great questions that you ask. And these are questions typically people don't ask and they have a difficult time dealing with. So the first one is how do you press yourself out of your comfort zone to do what you need to do? Okay, you said do what you need to do. Not do what you wanna do, do what you need to do. Now, right. doing what you need to do is a need is I need to focus on the curriculum. Now, Kenneth, you're still working full-time, correct? I was a couple of weeks. I haven't been. So now I have the time. So it's not an excuse anymore. Okay. No problem. No problem. So, okay. So hopefully, hopefully you can, you can, you can have the, have the time freedom to double down in on what you're supposed to do with the checklist. So if you have more time, Kenneth, and you know, I don't mind reach out to me and let me know. Okay. KTR. Mm -hmm. What is it? What is no, you know what the next thing you're supposed to be doing, but if you get cloudy about it, 
I'll send you a text message back and uh and, and get you get you get some clarity for you real real fast. Okay. So now how do you press yourself out of your comfort zone to do what you need to do? Okay, now let me start. Let me let me start with the with the personal philosophy that I use. Okay, first of all, when I get up in the morning, I try to get all the stuff done that I really don't want to do. I, I try to get all that stuff out the way early while I have the energy. Mm-hmm. When I get up in the morning, the first thing is law of gratitude. Thank you, universe. I'm grateful to be here. That's the first thing I say. Then I try to deal with the biggest challenges that I face because Kenneth, and this is going to happen to you. Eventually one day you're going to be, you're going to have a different kind of activity than you have right now. Cause you have to start managing the speaker business. You're not doing that right now because you're still learning the speaker business, but the mm-hmm. day is going to come when you're going to have to start managing it. That means talking to conference coordinators, doing organic outreach. When your business starts growing, running some paid traffic, that speaker growth engine that we talk about in module five, that, that Mr. Troyer is so skilled at being able to teach us. You got to get your head into the game. So what this is about is this is what you got to ask yourself. I look at me and Austin have made investments in with two other partnerships. And these are things that we really have to do in order to grow our business. And, and it's it's something that we've decided, both decided there was going to be additional revenue streams that's going to help us grow to a whole nother level. Now, we need to get our heads in the game. That means that it's going to require me to drop some videos, do some podcasts. We got to build out the sales funnel. Austin has to get all the automations and stuff set up to do to make the partnerships work. Okay, well, guess what? We could easily say, nah, man, we're too overwhelmed right now. I got too much going on with speaker focus. See, what you got to start thinking about, less is more. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching everybody on the platform to do, to speak less and earn more, not the other way around. Then some of this is a mindset, Kenneth. So you got to start becoming, you got to, you got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And I'm talking extremely uncomfortable. You got to get out your regular flow. Mm-hmm. So my question, my question to you is how much TV are you watching versus staying inside of the modules or emailing me, mm-hmm. asking me, KTR, can you check this? I need you to check this. I need you to check that. Do you right. know the majority of the stuff that you have to do on the speaker focus platform doesn't require any money, right? It requires your time. Yep. So time. Kenneth, my question to you is how much more time can you give this now to double down and get your head in this game so that you can start developing, replacing old behaviors with new behaviors, dropping the bad habits and replacing them with some success habits. So before I get into your other questions, talk to me about that first. I definitely have more time. That's that's definitely the issue. I think they, the two questions go together. No, it's not an issue, Kenneth. It's not an issue. You're not making it a priority. Right. And until you start dealing with, Kenneth, let me calm down a little bit, bro. Well, you right, though. You. And I put it on my list. It's on my agenda. You know, for I love you. you it's know, on I my agenda. You. I have I it on my agenda and stuff like that. And I just, I don't, I think it's more the procrastination, intimidation part. I don't know what it is. Okay. But okay. Then, okay. Example, let's get to the other pieces. I'm glad you bought those two. That's what it is. See, listen to me. Okay, Kenneth, don't make me take my jacket off. <laughs> this is, damn it. I'm sick of it, oh, man. Oh, man. Kenneth, I'm making Kenneth, you work hard. You're not the only one. Oh, man, I got you working hard tonight. Kenneth, you're not the only one, bro, that is intimidated and that that, Kenneth, about four times a month, that feeling of that anxiety and that depression starts, it comes out of nowhere. Mm. It, watch this. Do you think you would get the living shit scared out of you if you said to yourself, I want Speaker Focus to be a billion dollar company, billion dollar plus company. Mm. You think you would be, listen bro, I heard an interview with Jerry Jones one time when they built Jerry World. It was like, at the time it was the biggest stadium. Now you have, watch this, the LA Rams built their stadium. Mm -hmm. Cost more money than uh, the Cowboy Stadium. The Raiders built their stadium in Las Vegas theirs cost more than anybody's stadium. Mm -hmm. Jerry Jones said, he said, if you think I don't wake up in the morning and you don't think I'm scared shitless because I don't know whether or not this is going to work or not because this has never been done before. He said, you're mistaken. Right. I feel anxiety about me and Austin building a billion dollar brand. Listen, Kenneth, when I met Austin, I had to learn an entirely new business of technology. 
it's still every single day it hurts bro hmm. i am not comfortable at all hmm. i'm frustrated sometimes i get upset mm -hmm. when me and austin send messages back and forth it gets a little choppy i want to hit him sometimes but that's my boy. That's my family. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't know any of this stuff about digital marketing. See, a lot of you got to put yourself in position. A lot of you got to, a lot of put yourself in position like I am right now. I am not technology driven, but I am now. Kenneth, all I'm saying to you, bro, it's never going to feel really comfortable, but it gets more comfortable every single day. Right. You know why? Because I sit up there and I deal with it. When I start feeling anxiety, it's, I start feeling it right in my arms first. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's like, it's almost like I'm uncomfortable, but it's not like that excitable kind of uncomfortable feeling like, oh man, I'm getting, I'm going to break another, I'm going to break my record. Right. Or, like I did last week. I broke, a, I broke one of my sales, sales day records mm -hmm. last week. It's not that kind of excitement. Like right. you almost feel like you got to go to the bathroom. It's that bad kind of excitement, like something bad is getting ready to happen. I'm like, Wait a minute. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I, you think I'm you think I come this far to let this feeling take me under? Bro, I know what it's like to be depressed. I was depressed when my dad passed away in 2010 because I never knew what that felt like before. Something just came out of nowhere, Kenneth, and it just literally just pulled me down. Right. I don't want to do no touring. I didn't want to talk to no clients. I didn't want to talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. But I also remember what it's like when I was so broke. Hmm that this feeling was on me. I wanted to sleep half the day away. With all the energy I have, that's what it's like when you're depressed. Mm -hmm. So you got to stay active, bro. Right. And Kenneth, if that means you got to send me a message every single day so I can hold you accountable and not just on the Monday group call, then do that. Right. And I know me, once I get into it, I'm into it. That's I'm what I'm trying to tell you. Pushing you myself to get into it. That's what I'm saying, but it's the procrastination. Watch this. Yeah. See, it feels better to watch Netflix and go grab a snack. <laughs> go sit down and talk with your wife or your girlfriend and play with oh, your kids. Man. It feels a lot better to do that, right? Yeah, yeah, it's uncomfortable. Well, Kenneth, they can't help you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Not with this. Right. This is a lonely road, boss. And you gotta be prepared. This is warfare, everybody. Do you hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is, this is, business warfare and you got to win by attrition so you got to start cutting some stuff when i say attrition i'm talking about cutting things out that you do not need right a lot of you still a lot of you still under the impression you still think you need your friends you still think you need these fake ass friends in these circles mm -hmm. everybody see it feels mm -hmm. comfortable to go to clubhouse and listen to what everybody else is doing it feels comfortable to get on the Clubhouse app and go into these rooms and listen to what everybody else is doing. It feels comfortable to, to go on somebody's Facebook Live or, or spend hours scrolling down your news feed through Facebook and Instagram and be entertained by some silliness. And see, see but, but if I ask you, what's your mainstay headline? And you can't tell me, that means you ain't spending enough time with your signature programs. You should be sleeping with your signature programs, making love to them, having them at the breakfast table, the, the, the eating lunch with them and at the dinner table and have them on your pillow going to sleep. See, mm -hmm. you've got to be insane when it comes to practice. Study all of the greats. Kobe Bryant said, don't, don't look at, don't ask me what I do. Ask me how I do it. Don't ask me what I do. Cause I'm not here to, I'm not here to give you the what I'm here to give you the how right. I'm here to make you feel more uncomfortable. Kenneth, not make you feel more comfortable. Right. Did I not say that to you on the onboarding call? Did I not say that to you before we even took your first payment? Yes, sir. We brothers, we are in this together, whether or not we like it or not. It doesn't bother me because I'm an expert in managing clients, mm -hmm. but you still are procrastinating now. What is procrastination? Procrastination is the manifestation of wasted time. It's be, you got a roadblock in your head because your habit is telling you that every time I got to go in and deal with these with these modules, see what you see what, what what all of you do is you overthink the next step. See, watch this. The number one reason that you procrastinate you procrastinate is because you're overwhelmed. Kenneth, simplify, boss. 
What module are you on right now, Kenneth? I know you already finished your signature programs and you finished your bio. Where, where are you right now? Catch me up to where you are. I actually went through all the modules. It's the giving you the information. I sent you some, some things, but the signature program and all that, I have to just write it up and send it to you. That's all. I printed yeah. it out again this after this evening. I did it again while we were talking. Yeah, earlier. thank you for your thank you for your transparency. See, yeah. see, this this is you, sit, bro. This takes hours, mm -hmm. but you have to sit there in a room with no distractions, no TV on. See, I don't know how any of you can write with this with the television on and you playing some music. Maybe unless it's some classical music with no lyrics, right? Cause I can do that sometimes. I put some classical music going down real, real low, and I'll just sit there and just write for hours. I told you, I told you, Kenneth, writing is the number one skill that it takes to be successful as a speaker. Not your ability to speak, Kenneth. We're not even worried about your ability to speak, bro. Mm -hmm. You should. You you got a radio voice. We're not even worried about you. Hmm. What you got to do? I love writing. <laughs> I know you love writing, but you got to get out of your own way. Yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, over the last year, I've lost almost 40 pounds weight loss. I uh, did a whole, went the vegan route. I started a little bit, my father, my wife, and my daughter, but then I got sick last year. So that helped me to spurred me to come on totally. So I've done that. I'm healthier yep. than I've ever been. The ministry, the social media, I learned so much over the past year. You know, with the ministry, we've taken our church ministry social media from zero to a hundred. So, I mean, I know I can do these things. It's just doing of it. You can. You're doing it. You're doing it. But see, here's the thing. You're an accelerated thinker, Kenneth. Uh, yeah, I think too much. You're, you're th watch this. See, you went all the way through all of the modules. You said, I finished all the modules. <laughs> Good for you. Just A lot of apply. people say they finished the modules, but where is my signature program template right. so I can check it and we can get better. You've got to stay. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, you've got to stay within the parameters of each module. And then when you get the checklist done and I I said, remember, I'm the barrier to entry before you start showing your speaker business to the conference coordinator. Kenneth, watch mm -hmm. this. And uh, uh, Troy, if I'm missing anybody, that has a hand up, please let me know. And anybody else that has any other questions, we're not going to win no time soon. I got to help my boy Kenneth right now. Now, Kenneth, I can tell you this, bro. I've taken, listen to this carefully. Because when people hear my numbers, they don't, they simply don't understand where I've come from. And I'm only sharing these numbers with you to make a point about procrastination. Because see, there's two, two reasons why you procrastinate. Procrasti you procrastinate because you feel like you got the time to waste or you're not making it enough of a priority to spend time on this versus that that feels comfortable because it's so easy to do the stuff to feel comfortable. And then the pro procrastination comes from, because we're overwhelmed. Now, why would I get overwhelmed on the speaker focus platform? How could you get overwhelmed on the speaker focus platform? Go through and finish all six modules without completing the homework assignments for module one. Now I'm overwhelmed. Now I got so much other stuff on my mind. Like, damn, I got to get to the growth engine as quickly as possible. No matter how much you rush it. You aren't going anywhere to book any speaking engagements until you get this messaging organized. Now watch this. I've taken over 276 personal and professional development seminars from downloading stuff online for $49 all the way up to taking three, five, four day boot camps for $30,000. I spent some serious money on training and development. I spent literally hundreds of thousands of dollars on training and development myself mm -hmm. from voice, speech, modeling, acting lessons. Mm -hmm. I mean, all kinds of, bro, I'm certified to teach over a hundred soft skill topics in the corporate and association market. Wow. Because when I work for these public seminar companies, I took the courses to teach that nobody else wanted to teach. And I got in there. You gotta be willing to practice. And you gotta be willing to spend the majority of your time doing that. Any discretionary time, any free time. The first thing I think about instead of Netflix and chilling, instead of, besides family time, <clears throat> besides time I gotta spend with my business partners, mm -hmm. I spend the majority of the time by myself. How are you going to be victorious in war if you don't learn how, if you don't learn all of, all of the tools that you need to fight the battle?
Right. I'm interested in learning to get better because in the landscape that we're in right now, I mean, it's easy to be number one. It's easy. All you got to do is be authentic and provide a provide a, a product that is that is that is that has massive value because the majority of the market doesn't they don't care about value. Mm -hmm. You actually the core values and the beliefs can the who you are and the good person that I know that you are. I know you're a great writer. You sent you, I, I know you you pointed me in the right direction with some of your signature programs. Now what we got to do is complete. I want you to simplify. Less is more. Block out everything else. Don't think about anything else except for sending me the signature programs. And I know what you're doing too. You're not sending it over because you want it to be perfect. <laughs> I don't give a damn about it being perfect. I want to see it. Let me let me let me chop it and splice it and, and make suggestions and send it back over to you so we can get past the signature program. Right. See, watch this. Since you've looked at all the video modules now, now you got to go back and just finish all the checklists. Right. Right. Don't focus on anything else except for the signature programs. In order to get, in order to stop procrastinating, mm -hmm. bro, you're going to need to deal with, I call them replacing old behaviors with new behaviors. So you should start a 30 day challenge to, to, uh, today, right right now. Mm -hmm. When am I, Kenneth, when am I going to get my signature programs? I need a date this week. Tomorrow, Wednesday. Wednesday. Make it sound good, Kenneth. Wednesday. You might get it tomorrow, but I'm gonna say Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. You 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 have less in the way right now. So just finish the signature program template. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Just make sure make make sure that you your opening paragraphs aren't thin and your bullets aren't thin. The more descriptive, the better. Mm -hmm. Remember, I need to I need to be able to feel. If I'm the conference coordinator, reading your opening paragraphs and, and, and your bullets, that you are uh, you are helping me achieve the key takeaway strategies. You're helping mm -hmm. my audience achieve their desired outcomes and their learning objectives. People, if you do not get the foundation right in your speaker business, it is going to fall like a house of cards. Right. I don't care how talented you think you are in your particular industry. Mm -hmm. It starts with the messaging. That's the reason why I have you do the signature program template first and the bio formula. Right, gotcha. Kenneth, I know you can do this, bro. I know you're built for this business, but you gotta stop, you gotta stop going ahead too much hmm. and just keep your head right there where, where it is, where it needs to be, which is right in module number one. You're not the only one that does that. It's a whole bunch of people. Oh man, I pay for this program. Let me go ahead and go to module five. KTR said that's where you make the money. Well, how are you going to make the money? You're not even ready to talk to the conference coordinator if you can if you can com successfully complete module number five. Right. Right. By the way, what kind of job do you think Austin did with teaching you about the growth engine? What did it put on your mind? Hmm. To think about it. Think about it. And give me some feedback yeah. because that's where we teach you how to get the money. But mm -hmm. one of the keys to get the money is organizing the messaging. Right. Then in module two, getting all the sales tools together. Mm -hmm. There's a checklist for the website and the speaker info kit. Right. We give you a template for the website. You don't have to pay for a website. We give you that. But you can plug your signature programs, Kenneth, into the website unless you finish the signature program template. And I approve every last one of your signature programs, every single bullet, every word. I'm going to read it with my own eyes. Right. Okay. If it's horrible, I'm going to tell you. If it's good, I'm going to tell you. If it needs work, I'm going to tell you. But eventually... When I say, Kenneth, your signature programs are done, you will start, you are ready to start showing these to the conference coordinator. Right. Now I need you to send me a video mm -hmm. of to make sure you have command over your content. See, people get in here and think it's easy, and it's not. Mm -hmm. hmm. Period. But I tell you this, I'm telling you it's gonna be worth it if you can just complete my assignments. Gotcha. I believe it. This is not a promise. I don't make promises. Promises are made to be what? Broken. I don't make promises. I make guarantees. I guarantee you, if you do the work, you're going to be booking high fee speaking engagements online, virtually, mm -hmm. and, and you're going to be prepared. You're going to be prepared when COVID is over. Listen, bro, this is like being on home detention. And mm -hmm. I know because I've been on home detention before. I've been to jail before. This is what COVID is like. It's like you're in speaker jail. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I got a monitor and a band around my ankle. I can't leave the house. You know, all I was thinking about, Kenneth, all I was thinking about was the release date when I was going to be able to walk around without that monitoring band around my ankle. And my PO came over there and cut it off my ankle. That's what I'm thinking about. Right. And that's what you should be thinking about with your speaker business right now. You should be thinking about, I don't know when the date is going to be, but okay. We should all be happy because we got somebody, we got some, we got an exchange of power to just happen. Mm -hmm. At the very least, can we at least be happy because it's a first African-American female, a woman in a position of power that's going to get some things done. Right. Right. I don't know when the pandemic is going to be over. I'm buckling down for at least another year, but at the rate they're releasing the vaccines and everybody seems to be optimistic with a better plan now, I mean, at least by the mid, mid year, we can reassess where we are, but see, here's what's happening. Because of the pandemic, I've already created this year alone. I have eight speaking engagements on the calendar from South Africa, all the way to India. Hmm. Those are all virtual. Mm -hmm. wow. I didn't ask them. They asked me because I got my business set up already. You cannot capitalize on the opportunity if you don't have your business ramped up to another level. That should be your main goal. But some of you with the lack of patience that you have is sickening to me. And Kenneth, that's another bad habit. You gotta have patience, brother. You believe in us like we believe in you, but you gotta believe in yourself to finish the work. Now, if you're not finishing the work, if you're going to bed every night saying, damn, I told KTR Wednesday and I, and I just, I, I missed the mark. It's okay to miss the mark sometimes, mm -hmm. but at least get it to me. Right. And stop, get it out of your hands so I can give you the feedback so I can help you move forward. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Appreciate it. Kenneth, let's make, let's make a, um, let's make a deal. I don't want to hear nothing about sales tools, website, speaker video demo, speaker info kit, setting up the business, sales funnel, building the speaker growth engine, or downloading all your templates that you need to download. I don't want to hear about none of that. All I want to hear about is KTR, my speak. All I want to hear about is my, my signature programs and my bio. Can you check my bio and can you check my signature programs? That's all I care about. Okay. Remember, bro, I don't promise it to you. I guarantee you when you do the steps and eventually you knock, the day is about to be over. I'm going to tell you, Kenneth, school is over. You are not in session anymore. It is time to go to market. And now we got a different beast we got to deal with. And that is the day-to-day -day of managing these leads that we're going to help you get. All right. We don't have to worry about that on our platform. We're masters at lead generation. Everybody else got to worry about where am I going to get leads from for my business? You're going to learn that in the growth and in the engine in module number five. That's really the main reason why people take the course, but you can't show the conference coordinator your messaging unless you put it together in module number one. Right. Kenneth, let me know if you need me. I don't give a damn if you submit one or two questions every single day. What you need to call me? You need to text me? You need to, you need to submit a support ticket? Do whatever you need to do. Keep me informed about what's going on. And when the support doesn't die, your dream ain't going to die. Right, right. And how you deal, you know how you deal with procrastination? Damn, I got to deal with KTR on Wednesday. <laughs> you know how I deal with my procrastination? Go, oh, because if you don't think I that doesn't creep into my way every once in a while, you are mistaken. You know, I, you know how I deal with procrastination? Accountability. His name is Mr. Troyer. Austin right. Troyer. Mm -hmm. He's 25 years old. He's the CTO of Speaker Focus. Austin doesn't give a damn about no celebrity brand. He didn't care about it before he met me. He don't care about it right now. Mm -hmm. You know what he cares about? Process improvement. Hmm. What, you think he's doing my homework assignments for me? He'll send me a message through Slack. He does it every day. Hey, bro, this is how you do that. Right. Kenneth, you could tell when he's really put up, put out with me, right? He'll make a video. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you see it. Look at this video. You know what that says to me? Bro, I don't have I don't have time to be, I don't have time to be holding you by the hand every day, man. Look at this video. Mm -hmm. And I say, ah, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. And I say, mm -hmm. I got it, bro. And no, it's not not you can't give people lip service. 
No, right. not I got it. Do you know how to execute the action? Hmm. This is what I give you a template for. I don't want you, you can't figure this out by yourself. And Kenneth, your family cannot help you. Your friends can't help you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Wayne, by the way, Wayne said he's grateful for your question and your straight up answers. Please go deeper tonight. Love you, coach. Wayne, love you too. Kenneth, love you, man. I, 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 need, to, I need to see some. Kenneth, I'm telling you right now, blowing up your phone Wednesday afternoon if I don't have my signature programs by at least 2 p.m. You got it, you got it. You can keep playing, Kenneth. Keep it up. No, I'm, I appreciate it. You, this is what I do for everybody else I'm, in my life. So I need somebody doing it for me. Kenneth, I'm telling you right now, bro, the clock is ticking. Mm -hmm. We're not getting no younger. This ain't no dress rehearsal. Right. I'll talk to you real soon, boss. Love you, Thank man. You. Thank okay. you, Kevin. Yes, sir. All right, anybody else with, a, uh, with another question? Yeah, let me see. I think we had a couple other. Ah, Alex. Uh, <laughs> Alex said, yeah, I played, I played the instrumental. He plays classical music. I play the instrumental music when I'm working. Yeah, I love classical music, man. Okay. Uh, uh, Sean, I'm not sure if Sean was just a grant. Oh, oh, okay, Sean. Okay, Sean said he's, he's getting done with module number one. Great. Now watch this. This, this is You're going to be inspired by this. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sean, if you have a question, please um, uh, use the raise hand feature, and um, I'm going to hit the allow to talk. And uh, just, yeah, I see you just got unmuted. Sean Crane, welcome to the program, bro. Welcome to the first call. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing super fantastic, man. Hey, Sean, let me say this to you, bro, before you ask your question. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this to everybody without, um, <clears throat> I don't want to, um, I don't want to make like Sean put him on the spot or anything. It's not nothing that you need to answer. I just want to share, Sean, because I know you and I have the relationship that we have right now prior to you coming onto the platform because you just speak so much from the heart. Um, Sean has a, uh, everybody, Sean has a, um, he has a, he has a, a very successful coaching program. Family man, just came out with a brand new book, all of that kind of stuff, right? He's super busy. He had to find the right time to fit this in. And he wasn't sure at first if he was gonna have the time, but he he already told, he, he hasn't even been into the coaching program a week yet. He's already through module number one. I asked him to download the signature program template and he's, uh, and he's already working. So this is possible for you to jump into. It's about your level of commitment and it's about your priorities. You have to make speaking a priority. If you're a coach and you have a program, this is gonna help your coaching program become better as well because when you got better speaker topics and I help you with your messaging, it's going to help your coaching message and the verbiage on your website and your coaching program as well. Sean, what's your question, brother? Yeah, no, I'm loving it so far. I'm level one. I went through it all and uh, I'm just going back through the first videos to really make sure I get everything down because I want to have, you know, my four signature programs done. I want to have all that done. Um, no later than this. Uh, I just need a little direction for have the ideas. I, I've been writing it all down. Do I, do I need to admit it to you and how do I do that and what form do I use? Okay, no problem. <clears throat> so we can go over that right now. This is why we have the group call. So now, Sean, remember what we're doing with you, because you already have an ideology, you know how to transfer knowledge at a very high level, you already have an existing successful coaching program with a high ticket offer. What we're doing with you is we're taking the existing topics from the coaching program, and we are turning them, converting them, I should say, into speaking topics. So now watch this. Remember, Everybody is basically a leadership. You just have, everybody has these, it's so many little micro niches and sub niches and everybody has their niche, but everybody's basically a leadership speaker. If I'm the conference coordinator, Sean, I am not interested in hiring motivational, inspirational speaking. I don't give a damn about that. What I want, I want Sean Crane, the professional speaker. I want Sean Crane because I know for a fact he's a subject matter expert. <laughs> I know he's a specialist. I know he's a leading authority in his industry. I know he's a trusted advisor. See, so I'm looking to hire Sean Crane, the leadership speaker. So that's the reason why all your programs, you should be leadership based. Now, Sean, I know you're in the, um, the fitness industry as well. So you could take like some type of ideology that you use for your fitness clients and the coaching program. So now let me ask you what that is. What is the thing that you feel like everybody needs to know about Sean Crane 
when, when you take that stage, what is the one message that you want people to learn from your personal experience that you want, you want to enact change in them when they hear your message? What is that? Don't tell me what you think. Tell me what you feel. Go back to that pain that you've overcome because your responsibility now is to help other people in the audience fix their brokenness who are not healed and repaired like you are right now. So what is that message you want me to take away when I come hear you speak? Yeah, this is why I'm with you, man. Uh, I love the question. So I, like you said, I have a lot of passion. I got to direct that into a, a message that they're going to receive well. My message is literally to help people to uncover what they truly want, right? Below the limiting beliefs and the fear and to give them actual strategies and techniques to pursue that in their everyday life. So that's the message. I want people to feel empowered and that they actually have a blueprint to follow where they can start changing their lives the moment they leave that conference, that meeting, that whatever it may be. Okay, so watch this. <clears throat> One of your signature programs, Sean, could be called Pursuant Based Leadership. Damn, this is just too easy for me. You hear how disruptive that topic is? If you're gonna pursue, a derivative of pursuant is pursuit. Now, if I'm a conference coordinator and I see the topic pursuant based leadership, I'm like, damn, what is he talking about? What, what, oh, wait, wait, hold on. Now you're gonna have the opening paragraph that's gonna describe what you, what do you want me to pursue? You want me to pursue my passion, my purpose. You want me to follow the blueprint. How about blueprint based leadership? You want me to create all four of your signature programs right here, Sean? I'll do it. Shoot me some ideas, man. I love it. You know, <laughs> I, you know, yeah, absolutely. Let's keep going because yeah, I got ideas all day long. But I, I love your, uh, I love your energy and this. But, is re but remember, at. remember, Sean. This is about remember, like the core values. Like, watch this. Now, I'm gonna share this with you because I'm glad you're asking me this question. My brand is America's leading focus expert, right? Kevin T. Robertson, America's leading focus expert. KTR, when you see those three initials, magnifying success in your personal and professional vision. The Kevin T. Robertson Show, bringing the world into focus. My first book was The Clarity of Focus. My second book was Focus on Leadership and Peak Performance. My third book was um, uh, Focus on, uh, no, how to organize your focus and then Focus Facts for Teens as well. Now, all I give a damn about is people seeing their goals clear and people focusing on the goals and the dreams. What I do, Magna Leadership Strategy, I teach, watch this, Sean. Your main, my main say headline is, I teach leadership strategies that magnify success. What do I do with my clients from sun up to sundown? What am I doing with you right now? I'm strategizing. I'm trying to help you find the right angle, the right strategy, so you can create your signature programs. Leadership strategies that, that do what? The reason why you're utilizing, remember, I'm a leadership speaker, so I'm starting with lead. leadership. It's the number one bookable and most requested topic at conferences, corporate meetings, and events worldwide. You should be creating leadership topics that the market is already buying. Leadership is always going to get you through the door. Then you're going to go talk about your niche. Sean, what's your brand, by the way? It's like Sean Crane Fit, Sean Fit. What is it? Fitness, what is it? No, it's Sean Crane Coaching. Sean Crane Coaching, but you also do fitness too, right? Well, that's my, you're probably thinking of my, my email address. I, I was in the fitness industry. Okay, um, okay, that, back, that's what I'm but, thinking about. What, what's, your, what's, your, what, what's the email address? Because it's, it's got a nice catch to it. SeanCraneFit at gmail.com. See, Sean Crane Fit. Watch, watch this. Why not fitness-based leadership? Do you know fitness is just not talking about the body? You know what kind of, I tell people this all the time. If you're going to do business with me, you got to be in shape. This is warfare to me, Sean. Everybody doesn't look at it that way. You know, nobody's getting my spot. There's not one of these other speaker coaches on planet Earth who's going to deliver this content uh, better than me. You know, you know how, I insure, how I ensure that? Because I'm going to outwork everybody. I give away more free information than anybody in my space. So that's how I'm going to do it. So you could do fitness-based leadership. Conference coordinator looks at a topic called fitness-based leadership. Well, what is he talking about? Is he talking about taking care of my body? No, I'm talking about how fit you need to be to have your business organized. What kind of shape, what kind of mental endurance do you need to have? How about endurance-based leadership? 
You want me to keep going? Like that. Fuck I can do this on. all day long, bro. I know, man. Thought provoking and disruptive headlines, topics, titles, and descriptions. Sean, when you have those, and now follow the template to create the opening paragraphs and the bullets. I don't need it to be perfect. I just need you to get your ideas out. And watch this. The ideas don't even have to be, they don't even have to be polished. Send it to me. I'm going to say, Sean, this opening paragraph right here is great. Everybody starts losing focus when they get to their third and fourth signature program. They're staying up at 2.30 in the morning trying to finish it up like Kenneth is going to be trying to get all of his homework assignment done. And, I'm, and when he gets to module four, the, the bullets are going to look real thin. That's okay. Just get the eye. Don't tell me what you think, Sean. Tell me what you feel. Tell me how you overcome that struggle, how you were wrongly incarcerated, right? All of that stuff that you talk, that needs to go in there, bro. That's your story. That's what, that's what, that's what really at the end of the day, that's what opens people up to say, damn, he's not messing around. Like I just admitted to everybody here in front of, in front of everybody that being, being in the house right now feels like when I was on home detention and I had a monitoring band around my ankle. I'm just waiting for the release date. But you know what I was thinking to myself the whole time when I was on home detention? It, it, it's only six months. I'm going to be out in six months. So I start getting ready. How am I going to change my life so I don't go back to doing all that bad stuff that I was doing? How am I going to do that? I was getting myself ready, reading books all the time. I made $150,000 Staying in the house doing real estate, never broke the plane of the door. I had the settlement officer come to my house to do the settlements. So I was working on myself while I was in there. That's all I'm asking you to do, Sean. Go to the pain. Because if that's not in your signature programs, then they're not going to be authentic. See, I'm looking, how about authentic based leadership, Sean? You that's you up and down. Authentic based leadership. You're one of the most authentic coaches in this industry in a world full of bullshit mind you you stand out above and beyond the rest 80 percent of the coaches and the motivational inspirational speakers aren't talking about nothing how about authentic based leadership for you oh, man i love that see this is my this is me a lot right now because you're bridging the gap i got a lot of i got a story i got a message to share and yeah. i, I want to figure out how to use your template um to create my you know my signature based uh evoke the passion in the title so i love that authentic based leadership when yeah. you're talking right now too kevin i also wrote survivor based leadership right oh you're talking there leader. it is right there see now you get the breakthrough that's what i'm talking yeah. about bro that, that's, there we what go. that's it right there you survive bro they put you they put you in prison you were wrongly accused of a crime you didn't commit that's surviving right there that's what i need to feel that's the Sean Crane that you need to show the whole world, bro. And it all comes out through those signature programs. I'm telling you right now, that's fire. Go in and get that Sean. That's the Sean that I need. I need to, that Sean that was broken. That Sean, that Sean that woke up some days, he didn't know whether or not he was gonna make it, but you did. And I don't know what you had to do to get there, but you're there right now. And that's why, that's why you got a successful coaching program. And that's why you're gonna be a successful speaker. And I'm gonna help you do it. Yeah, man, I feel it. I'm, I'm fired up, man. I'm excited. Um, so how I do tell you or my use the, the email template that you sent me and basically follow that everything out and then just email you directly. Is that how I'm going to get uh, this info to you? Absolutely. Yep. That's what you're going to do. You can, you can submit it through the, uh, you can submit it through school, through the private coaching group. We can You can upload the homework assignments there, or you can just email it directly. If you feel more comfortable doing that, that's fine. I'll get. I'll get oh, it. No, I'll do it. I'll do it in the site. Whatever's the best way to do it. I don't mind doing it in the the um, coaching program. Just yeah, yeah, right. and everything that it's going in the right place. Yeah, that's fine. So you said you're gonna try to get those to me by. You said the weekend. I think the uh, we had a bad connection or something. I didn't hear the date that you were gonna get that to me. Yeah. So I had. You know a good outline of it done you get a lot of great now so i'm just working on them a little more i want that i want to get you by friday hey sean another thing too your last name is crane um this is just an idea i want you to go and find alternative words for crane because crank uh, what you know I, I want you to i want you to look at the the definition of what a crane does what does a crane do a crane is a tool that that that, that lifts things up 
it catapults, it takes things to another level. You know what I'm saying? Think about that. And you might want to incorporate your last name in one of your signature programs, but definitely and, and go or get something from your book as well. And maybe you want to pull something from your, uh, your coaching program. Definitely like the key element in your coaching program, definitely from your story and definitely something from your book and maybe something even from your last name. I'm just like torn around with another idea before, before I take another question. Yeah, no, that's, those are great. I'll definitely do that. I already got a lot of ideas right yep. now just hearing you say that. Yeah, all you need, and watch this. If you want to submit more than one signature program to me off the break, you can. You say, hey, KTR, man, I'm, I'm, un, uh, I'm undecided about, uh, I got, that, that happens all the time. I got like six titles instead of four. Send the six titles to me. I can tell you the ones that I feel sound the most disruptive. Like when I say disruptive, I'm talking about <clears throat> thought provoking. I want the conference coordinator to go, damn, that's what it what yeah i like the way that sounds i wonder what that i wonder what he's going to teach us and then watch this you're not going to be there to talk them into it they're going to read the opening paragraph and all the talking points are the bullets and they're going to read over everything they're going to be like you know what this is well written this makes a lot of sense sellable and bookable marketing language if you do that you will have a sustainable speaking career all right okay man thank you so much all right Sean. all love boss i'll talk to you real soon all right good yes sir okay let's see uh sean uh, lower the, lower the hand anybody else <clears throat> that have any questions or concerns let me see uh wayne says great discussion with sean thank you so much let me see uh i should have a question next week when going deep into the modules okay alex we're always here to ask the questions, you can always submit a support ticket if you'd like, support at speakerfocus.com. You can ask the questions right through the private coaching group on the school platform as well. Now, here's what you all have got to understand. When I say this is warfare, I am not even playing around with you. We are, we, are, we are all fighting for something bigger than ourselves. That's the whole reason why I wanted to be a speaker. I want to magnify success in your personal and professional vision. I want to take what you do and make it bigger. That's why I teach leadership strategies that do what? Lead, the strategies do what? Magnify success. I want to take your level of success you're having right now just like Sean, just like a lot of you, you're already successful in your market. When it comes to speaking, however, this is my domain. So you got to go back to the bottom of the hill, just like how when, when, when I got to go ask for a billion dollar advice from some other high ticket coach. You, you know, the kind of money I hear people whining and complaining every single day about the money that they, that they spend. You could give these people a break. But they're not interested. They're, they're not interested in you or anybody else because they're not willing to be committed to anything. They're committed to quitting. That's what they're committed to. That's a bad habit. I don't allow myself to quit. I got too many people. I got too many people to 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 uh, to to. I got to answer to Austin Troyer. This shit is a lot of pressure. So I don't want to let my business partner down. So I do my role. I play my part. When the students need feedback, I give it to them. When the new students, when the new students, and all of you were a new student before, no, all of you were once a, a prospect who opted into our sales funnel and you scheduled a call with me. And what did I tell every last one of you? If you aren't prepared to do the work, you might as well stay right where you are. You know what kind of balls it takes to say, I'm already doing something, but I know that speaking is in my future. And I feel, I feel that speaker focus, Austin Troy, Kevin T. Robinson and his team are capable of getting me there. That's all I care about. I just want you to get some results. Now, I'm not going to be sitting up here playing Tinley Winks and Uno and, and cards with you. I'm not playing spades and go fish and AC Ducey. I'm not playing Pekino with you. I'm not playing no games with you. Your ass is going to get these assignments done so we can make you some money. 
You want to change your position? Get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Are you sick of where you are right now in your life? See, we get too comfortable. I'm sick of operating on the level that I am. You run a multi-million dollar sales funnel. Watch this. My keynote is $50,000. I remember when my keynote was, was $5,000. You do enough speaking engagement for $5,000. And it's like somebody just keep feeding you or uh, keep feeding you hamburgers every single day for three, three, four, five years straight. <clears throat> well, you know why I was making $5,000? Because I didn't have the balls enough to ask for more. And I should have been asking for more, but I didn't know how. I'm telling you that you're going to keep underpricing yourself and the market is going to give you what they want you to have. Let, let me tell you something. When you build this business the right way, as we're teaching you how to do on the speaker focus platform, you have all the leverage. The conference coordinator cannot go anywhere else and find a Kenneth Jones. They can't go anywhere else and find a Sean Crane. I like to see you try, but Sean Crane and Kenneth Jones they can go and market their services to a, a hundred million other companies who are suffering from corporate dysfunction who need their expertise. See, y'all got it all backwards. You think the conference coordinator doesn't have no, no, they don't have the advantage. I got the advantage as the speaker. Then when you start looking at it like that, maybe you'll start getting up off your ass and getting some of this work done because listen to me, this is the biggest that I've ever seen it before in my life. I'm gonna make all of them pay more when I start going on tour again. Because you, you're thinking that it's not no money in the system. I'm telling you that it is. You don't know what you're talking about. I am, listen, I started speaking in 1986. Austin, he wasn't even born when I was speaking. I am a pre-internet speaker. When did the internet come out, 1992? And I'm definitely a pre-social network. I've seen it evolve, everyone. I've seen it go through every single stage, starting out with these little fake-ass marketing packets I used to send out. It was like a folder, right? You put your black and white bio on one side. You put the black and white, uh, the five by seven color glossy on this side. At the bottom, you put the business card. Ha, I don't even have business cards anymore. And then this is when I had, we were sending out VHS tapes. I asked Austin what a VHS tape was. He didn't even know what it was. So you know he doesn't know what a Betamax is. All my old school people, you know what a Betamax is. You know what it is. I'm talking old school. I'm old school. I've seen it change. And I've seen where we are right now. Hey, Eileen, I'll never give up on you. I love you dearly. I love you dearly. We, we all, we're all in it together. When you sign up for Speaker Focus, I'm in it with you all the way. I don't care if you get busy, if you get sick. We got it all that's happening on our platform. I know you all got life. It's, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult on me too. But I tell you what, when we all come together and we all get this knowledge, we're going to come through this pandemic we're going to be like the $6 million man, bigger, better, faster, and stronger. That's my plan. Remember when I was on home detention, all I was thinking about was when are they going to let me out? And I know I could go anywhere in the world. When you get your freedom taken away from you, this is what the pandemic is like. But you're not being restricted. You can still learn, can't you? It's warfare. That's how I look at it. And that's why I'm number one. I look at it like it's warfare. This is mental endurance. All the stuff that's making you uncomfortable and all the stuff you don't want to do, that's the stuff you need to be trying to do every single day. Technology has got me all messed up in my head. But I got Austin Troy. But I'm still uncomfortable. Every single day, there is something that I'm learning how to do to make this business better, make my job easier. Because, but because of Austin and the systems that he's taught me, got me out of old school thinking. The conference coordinator doesn't have the advantage. The one with the, with the proper messaging that has massive value, what you think the conference coordinator is going to get up there? You think they have facilitation skills like you? You Oh, you think the conference coordinator, let me be clear, you think that you think they know what you know. 
That's why the conference coordinator, they always want to do a meet and greet, especially when you, when you start becoming a high fee speaker, they do a meet and greet for you. This is why I love the speaking industry. Oh my God, how they spoil you. <clears throat> That's what they did when I, when I, when I, uh, when I had to, when I did training for the Pittsburgh Steelers, they they brought out the chef. They had a big barbecue right next to the locker room. They took me on the tour, showed me all the Steelers history, all that kind. Of, man, it was it was amazing, right? They did all that for me. The conference coordinator wants to sit next to you because they don't know what you know, so they want to sit next to you so they can pick your brain. So Kevin, what do you think about this and that and this and that? You want to pay me double for that? But you, you sit there, you got to answer the questions. You play the game because I'm eating good, right? <laughs> I'm eating good. I'm chilling. I'm eating real good. <clears throat> yeah. Pass me another piece of the pulled pork. Yeah, I'll take another one of those. <laughs> I clean myself up. I put my colors on to represent the Steelers. <clears throat> and I go in there and I do my job. The conference coordinator doesn't have the leverage. You have the leverage as the speaker. Remember, I could take my services to 100 million plus companies, probably more than that. Do you know how, do you know corporations suffer from the same things all the time? This is what I learned in the corporate and association market that 82 to 97% of the problems that they face on an executive, managerial, supervisory, grassroots, customer service level, 82 to 97% all stem from ineffective communication. Low levels of communication, blocked communication, miscommunication, flat out none at all. That's a problem. Your signature programs are communication-based programs <clears throat> that's gonna help remedy that corporate dysfunction. They got everything going on. That's why corporate litigation is at an all time high right now. Your signature programs are helping heal the world and you don't wanna make that a priority. You don't wanna make the thing the number one priority that's gonna make you the most money. I don't know what to tell you because I got the advantage. You know why? Because I got the knowledge. I don't know, maybe it's the over 1500 books I got in my personal library. Maybe it's just 276 plus personal seminars that I've invested my money in to get better at myself. First seminar I ever took was how to communicate with tact, finesse, diplomacy, and skill. I had to learn intonation, pitch, resonance, height, accuracy, cadence, lyrical roller coaster is what I call it. You got to be able to take the intonation of your voice up. And you got to know how to speak at a very powerful, commanding level. And you also got to know how to bring it down to a whisper. Command over the content, ladies and gentlemen, is what this is all about. If you don't have that, you're not ready to start talking to the conference coordinator because they're going to count down on you. And this is why I recommend you, you say your signature program, signature programs out loud every single day. Because when they say, and coming to the stage, our next speaker, is a curly haired little kid from Capitol Heights, Maryland. His name is Kevin T. Robertson, America's leading focus expert. Ladies and gentlemen, put it together for K T R R R. I could the stage is mine when I come out there. I take control of that shit. I own it. This confidence just doesn't come from anywhere. This confidence comes from countless practice repetitions. I don't know, maybe it's a 2,700 plus speaking engagements that I've done, that I've gotten paid to do from $56 and some change to speak at a singles ministry. I had a nice hamburger or something going on the way home and I was able to buy some gas. Good for me, low fee speaker. But I also know what it's like to get 50K for one hour of my time. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm in the top 20% of professional speakers on planet Earth who know how to transfer knowledge at a very, very high level. Huh, maybe that. Maybe I was born like that. No. Maybe it's because I know how to hold people's attention for elongated periods of time and be entertaining all at the same time. That's an hour keynote speech, two hour educational keynote, half day program, two to four hours, full day program, four to eight hours. 
how you want it. I can give it to you any way you want it. And all of that right there is in my menu of services. And I'm going to send right there in the speaker information packet in module number six has everything in there to book me logistically from top to bottom. So when the, when they call your name and you come to the stage, what are you going to say? Oh, you, you got, you got topics. Or are you going to be talking out of your ass? You got a choice. I'm here to help you make those choices. Those choices don't have to be hard, but I need you to put the work in. I need you to put the effort. Now, if you're not putting in the effort and you still got some, you still got some stuff you need to clean up from 2020, I get it. The pandemic has been a tough mother for all of us. But I'm, I'm over the pandemic. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking at the pandemic like when I was on home detention. I'm coming out of this. Do you want to come out of it better? You want to come out of it with more skills? Well, I suggest you do something as I'm ready to wrap the call. And I'm looking for any more hands raised. I don't see it. Mr. Troy, come in here for a second, please. Come yes, in here, sir. Partner. What's going on, boss? Not much. <clears throat> Austin, I need I need your 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 advice about something because I don't want I don't want the students on our platform to feel like because they, they you know everybody feels like you arrived when you've had when you've had the body of work that I have. Could you could you could you could you just give them your honest opinion about how you felt like I have dealt with the technology since you met me and I really wasn't good at it to my own admission. You taught me a lot of stuff, but for somebody that didn't really know what they were doing and just had to learn a whole new business like the students are doing on our platform, they're learning a whole new business and it felt uncomfortable for me. What do you think was the thing that I don't know just let let led you to believe that our partnership was going to work. I don't know. What, what, what did I display to you that made you say that I'm going to be in business with this guy for a long time? What was it? Uh, well, I think the big thing is, you know, someone of your age and, you know, experience and, and, you know, accomplishment for you to be able to be humble and go back to the drawing board and, and be growth minded at that, at your age, you know, obviously you're not old, but you're at an age where, you know, humans naturally, when you get older and your brain stops developing, you, you tend to fall, fall back into, uh, you know, what you know, and you, what you feel comfortable with and to see someone of your accomplishment and experience and age to be able to, to be able to, you know, uh, listen and actually, you know, learn and, you know, want to keep learning and stay in that mindset was everything because, you know, in this new world of business and what we're trying to accomplish, we're, we're not, you, you can't survive in business today with, with any other mindset. You can't, you can't resist change. You can't, you can't wake up and say, I don't want to learn today. Like even if you know a lot, even if you are a one percent, you're going to become a, a 20, a 30, 40 percent in your field if you're not waking up and putting in two plus hours of learning. I mean, every billionaire you, you can list, uh, you know, Mark Cuban, he he spends four to five hours a day learning Warren Buffett, four to five, actually probably five plus hours a day and learning and and, you know, they're learning machine learning. They're learning all these new technologies. Um, and they're starting from ground zero. They're, they're, leading, they're reading the, you know, the, the machine learning for dummies, the AI for dummies books. Wow. wow. And, you know, that's just, that's, that was the biggest thing for me is you were, you were willing to, to, you know, realize that you don't know all the answers and that, and that, you, you know, you're going to, you're, you're willing to put in the work, even at that age, because, you know, it could be it can be easy for most people when you, you get a lot of money and uh, you get older that you just want to kind of calm down and and, um, you know, sit on the sidelines. But that's not what you were in it. You wanted you wanted to dominate and, you know, continue growing a business and being that. And there's nothing wrong with either side, but there is something wrong with, you know, if you're if you don't want to put in the work learning every day because you're just exhausted, you've been in business for too long. You just have to realize 
you're not going to be an operator. You can't, you need to either hire a CEO or a COO that's going to come in and execute at a high level for 10 plus hours a day. Otherwise your business is not going to survive. It's just not, it's mm -hmm. impossible for it to survive and thrive um, without that kind of, without that kind of mindset. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you know, um, thanks, man. You know, I, I just, I just like to be able to, so they don't have to hear from me all the time. Your, uh, our way of thinking and our way of operating is, is totally different. And, uh, but you know, at, at the end of the day, we always respect each other's opinion. We, we don't agree all the time, obviously, because the world would be boring if we did. I'm glad that we don't because a, a lot of, let, let me tell you something, the first, <laughs> bro, one of the, one of the, one of the things that you said to me very early on in our working relationship, and this is, I'm, I'm just, I'm just admitting this to everyone because I'm old school. I, I love old school. But old school thinking, and I said it in the in the in the VSL. I think when me and Austin put together, our, we launched our first Facebook ad. I said old school thinking will keep you broke. That's what, one of the first things Austin taught. I was explaining something about social media, and I was ignorant to the facts. I didn't understand what it is, and and Austin corrects me all the time about the proper terminology I should be using. Bro, you should say this in the sales calls. You're doing this right. I love that. Take that out. It's a constant process of growing. But one thing he said, I remember he said to me, he said, he said, Kevin, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. You know what I told him? He, this is the humble part that a lot of people can't get past. I said, well, tell it to me like it is. And he, he told me, he told me what I was doing wrong. And what I said, I didn't understand it the right way. I said, oh, that's how it works. Yeah. And see, I know when to shut my mouth up and take direction. I don't care what age you are. So it's the, if, if you're struggling, don't worry about the technology part. This is what you got Austin for. Do you understand that how many coaching programs I've taken that they leave you out there? You got to figure it out all by yourself. I wasn't good enough to figure it out by myself, but I paid the money. And sometimes I didn't even say anything. Sometimes there was no support. There was no support. I couldn't email anybody. So you're talking about I know what it's like to come all the way from the bottom, everyone. I don't care where you are right now. I've been there before. Bankrupt four times. Four. The first time I, watch this, the top 1% of people in this country, the top 1%, now they make, they make 450,000 a year or more. The first year I did a, I did a little under $600,000 in real estate. I was 27 years old. Three years later, the first year I broke, I have, I broke this, I broke that, got, got into the one percent of of earning power as a speaker is when I is when I had to get past thirty and I stopped being a, a motivational speaker and I still I stopped being a professional speaker. I had to learn real facilitation skills and then at that point it was just easy. I mean, you know how easy it is. You know how easy it is. I could close my eyes and make one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year speaking. That's easy. If I didn't know how to do nothing else, I just say, you know what, Austin, I quit. I'm just going to speak for the rest of my life. I'm only going to charge $5,000 for the rest of my life. You know how easy it is for me to make $150,000 speaking? Because I know where the conference coordinators hang out. I know how to talk to them. I know all the stuff to get together. But I don't want 150. I don't want you get tired of making 500000 a year. See, I know that sounds crazy right now, but I'm telling you, you get sick of it. So listen to the words that Mr. Troy has said, not me. I started a brand new business when I met this young man and I didn't know anything about technology because I wanted it real bad. I wanted to be a major player online and I didn't know how to do it. And I came to Austin and I told him I didn't know how to do it. He said he didn't know how to do it. I said, oh, wow, well, maybe we can work. Maybe we can help each other. He wasn't holding his hand out like everybody else trying to just trying to get in my pocket. I asked him a question about a website one time. I said, yeah, bro, my website needs some, needs some upgrades, this, this, this. He said, no, it doesn't. He said, don't worry about all that flashy stuff. You, you, got, plenty of, you got plenty of credibility and social proof. Don't worry about that. We need a landing page. One page. We need to keep it real simple. And then we're on our way to building a billion dollar brand. So I'm telling you that it's possible for you to do it, but you got to put in the work. You got to remain humble. You got to keep your head down and you just got to, you got to do, listen, the system is there. The system is there and we're more than willing to teach you. As you can see, 
on an ongoing basis. Thanks, Mr. Troy. I'm going to wrap the call because I don't see any more hands. So <clears throat> in my closing, my closing thoughts is this. I want you to remember something that's going to get you through. Because I know that anxiety is creeping up on you. I know that depression is creeping up on you. I know that sunken feeling like them bills are rolling up on you and you're getting behind, but you got to fight. You got to keep fighting. Every single time that I was in a bad situation financially or, or I, I, I was rocking and reeling, learning something new, it's not, a, it's not comfortable. But every time I stayed active. And this is the thing you got to keep active the most. See, I don't, I don't believe in, I don't believe in motivating somebody else. Uh, uh, motivation from other people is, is, uh, is, is fleeting. It's very fake. It's, it's like a hot air balloon. Ooh, we, we go to a seminar. We go to a seminar. We hear somebody speak, and I, I go hear a motivational speaker. And when, and when, when the motivational speaker is off the stage, and, and that you don't even remember what they said. You may remember a couple of stories, but where's the strategies? How do your story, how's that gonna help me change my life? Yeah, I'm gonna get inspired. But I tell you, I tell you what, self-motivation is something, is something if you don't have it, you better go get it. And the way to be self-motivated, the way to self, the way to motivate yourself is through new resources. When I learn something new, I stay excited. I can't help but feel passionate about my future because of what this young man has taught me how to do what I've taught him what we're teaching other people as a that's what it's about it ain't about you your life is not about you your life is about you taking your purpose and your dream and servicing other people okay great I'm in the top one percent good for me but so can you you could be it too you but you got to build your business the right way I mean, maybe your, maybe your dream is just to do 100, 100,000. Maybe your dream is just to leave your job and replace your salary. And that's all you want out of the game. That's fine. But I'm telling you, this game of public speaking, paid public speaking can give it to you. But you got to go after it. You got to go get it. What, you think Tom Brady is going to his 10th Super Bowl because it's luck? I don't give a damn what anybody says about him. You, you go to a whole nother team. And by the way, the team that you just left with them when, when you were there, made it to the playoffs all those times and made it to the Super Bowl all those times, nine other times, mind you. But when you leave, the team doesn't make it to the Super Bowl. Oh, you think it's the system. You think it's the coach or you think it's the, you think it's the leadership. It's the leadership. You go to a brand or you go to a whole nother team. Their quarterback ain't playing good. They didn't, they didn't even make it to the playoffs last year. And all of a sudden now, I'm going to a whole other team, and now I'm going, to, I'm going to the Super Bowl. This is what this is about. And, and watch this. Watch this. Warfare is struggle. Warfare is battle. Warfare is mental endurance. You got to be relentless in your pursuit of victory. I'm telling you right now. Kobe Bryant said, don't, don't look at what I, don't, don't ask me what I do. Ask me how I do it. So don't ask me what I do. Ask me how I do it. And I'm more than willing to show it to you on the Speaker Focus platform. My God, I give away more information than anybody else in our space. And, and I'm happy to do it but you're on our platform and I'm responsible for you. And I'm going to keep helping you grow over and over and over again. Ladies and gentlemen, I can say this to you. Wayne, I appreciate it, man. Put this on autopilot. Yes, sir. I still got a whole lot more work to do. Yep. Yep. There you go. Kenneth said he was intimidated by the age factor. And he was feeling uncomfortable, but I'm a woke now. There you go, Kenneth. Hey, listen, you, I mean, you heard, you heard Austin say it. 50% it's, it's, it's of our platform is 40 years and over. 
I'm right there with you. I understand what it's like to feel uncomfortable, but activity will make that feeling go away. You can't be thinking about the success that you need to need to have as a speaker. You need to think about the success that you're going to have by completing your assignments. That's taking it step by step and building your business. Don't think you're smarter than the system. Don't. You don't know what it's like to be, you, if you don't know what it's like to be a high fee speaker, you need to listen. I do. I'm not scared at all to ask the conference coordinator for, for, uh, for 50 racks. It's just that simple. You don't want it, fine. <laughs> you, think, you think you can find somebody else to come in and teach leadership like me, go, go do it. You may be able to find a different kind of brand. You, you, you can take a different approach. But remember who, has the, who, remember who has the leverage. The person that has the leverage gets the money. That's how it works in business. Business is a skill. We're teaching you the business of pro professional paid speaking. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the staff at speakerfocus.com, I am CEO Kevin T. Robertson, America's leading focus expert, and Austin Troyer, CTO. I got nothing but love for you. I'm always here to tell it to you like it is. Hey, Trevor, appreciate you. Trevor says, appreciate the candor. Little by little becomes a lot. Nelson Mandela, that's right. Every little step you take, man, every action that you take, every person that you meet, everything that you study is gonna get you closer towards that goal. For a lot of you, this is just like the final piece that you've been missing. So on behalf of me and the staff at Speaker Focus, we love you and we're here for you. Thanks for showing up for the Monday group call. Get your homework assignments done. Stay focused on your goals and dreams. Peace.